In this problem, we're told a ball thrown horizontally at 23.7 meters per second from the roof of a building lands 31 meters from the base of the building. How high is the building? So let's draw this building here. And so we know this ball at the top of it is being thrown 23.7 meters per second. And so we know the ball is going to land 31 meters from the base of the building. So this is the base of the building. It's going to land 31 meters this way. So 31 meters. This is where the ball is going to land. If we draw the arc, it's going to go, and it's going to be something like that. And so we're trying to find how high is the building. We're trying to find this length here. So I'm going to call it delta y. So we're trying to find delta y. So when we solve this, uh, these problems, we always got to write down our given. And so since it's two-dimensional, we got to write our given in the x direction and then in the y direction. So given x and y. So let's start with the x direction. So we know acceleration in the x direction is always going to be uh, 0 meters per second squared, unless they specify differently, but you always assume it's 0 meters per second squared. And then v sub 0, our initial velocity, uh, they tell us what it is, right? So our initial velocity is going to be 23.7 uh, meters per second. And then delta x, which is our just change in our x position, is going to be from 0 to 31 meters, right? So 31 meters is our change from where the ball starts to where it ends. So delta x equals 31 meters. And then what we don't know though is time. So we don't know how long this takes. Uh, so I'm gonna write time equals question mark. And then let's move on to the given for the y. So y in the y direction, uh, acceleration's always basically uh, gravity, which is minus 9.8 meters per second squared. And then v sub zero, which is velocity, is gonna be zero meters per second. And so unless they specify differently, you usually just assume that's what it is. So 0 meters per second. And then delta y, uh, we don't know, right? That's going to be the height of the building. So the change, that's what we're trying to solve for, uh, basically. So delta y, we don't know. So we're going to solve for that. And then we also don't know the time it takes, right? So time equals question mark. And so this is going to be our given for the y, given for the x. And now we can actually solve. And so when solving kinematic equations like this, uh, that are like two-dimensional, you're basically always going to be using the same equation. Uh, you might use a different one every once in a while, but you're going to be using the equation delta y or delta x. It depends on uh, which direction you're going to be using it. But delta y equals uh, v sub 0 times t plus 1 half a t squared. So this right here is going to be the formula we're going to use. And so what we're going to want to do is we're trying to find delta y, right? And so in order to find delta y in this equation, uh, we need to have t first, right? Because we need every other variable. But how do we find t? Well, we know t in this equation is going to be the same in this one, right? Because the time it takes it to go uh, vertically till it touches the ground and horizontally, it's in the same spot. So it's going to take the same amount of time. So if we can solve for time here, we're just going to use it here, and then we can solve for delta y. So what we're going to do is take these variables, plug it into this equation, and solve for t. So let's go ahead and do that. So delta x, which is 31, it's going to be equal to v sub 0, which is 23.7 times t. Uh, and we don't know t, that's what we're solving for. So times t plus 1 half a, and so a is going to be 0, times t, which we don't know what it is, squared. So what you should notice is this whole thing right here is going to become 0 because we're multiplying by 0. So it's just going to be plus 0. I'm not going to write it though, right, because plus 0 does nothing. So t is going to be uh, equal to, if we divide both sides by 23.7, we'll get t by itself. So t is going to be equal to 31 divided by 23.7. Uh, so basically, if you plug that in your calculator, t equals 1.308. And so this right here is going to be t. So, and keep in mind this is in seconds, right? Because this is meters per second. So seconds. So t equals 1.308 seconds. And so we went over earlier that these are going to be the same. So 1.308 seconds. And so now we've got everything on this equation in order to solve for delta y, which is the height of our building. So all we got to do is just plug it in and solve. So delta y, which is what we're solving for. So delta y equals v sub 0, which is 0, times 1.308. So keep in mind, this is just going to become 0. So uh, it's going to be 0 plus which adds nothing, so I'm just going to get rid of it. So we just have 1 half then, times a, which is minus 
times t squared. So 1.308 squared. So if you go ahead and solve this, uh, you're going to get that it equals delta y equals minus 8.38383 uh, and so on. Uh, I'm not exactly sure uh, how you're told around, but keep in mind that this is delta y, so just the change in the position. So this is going to have to be positive, right? Because uh, this it goes negative, right? Because you calculate delta y by your final position, which in this case is 0, minus your initial, and that would give us minus 8. So it's just going to be 8.383. So I'm going to round to the tenths place, just make it 8.4. So delta y equals uh, 8.4, and then uh, keep in mind this is going to be meters, right? Because this is meters, meters. So 8.4 meters, and so how high is the building? The building is going to be 8.4 meters.